YouTube in the future, we are playing a Legacy Cube. We have 78 players in the queue, so I figured I'd start recording now. Just in case it doesn't take too long to find the last person, question mark? Hopefully... Who knows? Who heckin' knows, man? But... Oh, I need to turn the big light off. Uh, boop, now it's so dark, chat. And now there's light again. And voila! I hit the start recording button for YouTube in the future. Because I didn't think it was going to take another, you know, minute to find this last person. Right? Right? As it turns out... There we go. About to say, as it turns out, we've uh, we've goofed. We have not goofed, and uh, I'm going to leave that into YouTube. YouTube, you get to watch me goof, all right? Big thumbs up. Pack one, pick one here. Uh, cards to talk about. Uh, Sylvan Karyatid, great ramp spell. Splinter Twin, best combo in magic. Swords of Plowshares, good removal spell. Oof. It's, uh, boop. Um, outside of that, Underground Sea, Good Land, Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, uh, Decent Planeswalker, probably nowhere near for pack one, pick one, that puts us in the three colors immediately. So we got choices, chat. Do we want to be the Mono Green deck? Or do we want to be the Splinter Twin deck? I can't pass Splinter Twin. That's just like, it's against my religion to pass Splinter Twin. Three, four... And now we get to follow Splinter Twin up with Champion of Wits, maybe? Uh, I feel like it might be a Champion of Wits here. It's either Champion of Wits or Negate. And I think it's going to be a Champion of Wits. It just lets us go through our deck. Uh, Course of Portal is also a really good magic card. But taking two 4-drops immediately feels bad. Limits the amount of 4-drops we take later. Uh, Luca's an interesting one, but I don't think it's one we want to take. Champion Wits. Champion Wits also is just a good card with Splinter Twin. Um, here, Gristle Brand. Um, we did pass Reanimate. Maybe it'll come back? Probably won't come back. Um, Brawl is a card. It's not a card we're taking. Grim Lava Mancer is bad in this format. Maybe we're just taking a Mana Confluence. Uh, just says fixing. And I think that's what we're doing. Um, Aired Mesa. Fetch land. Gets at least one of our colors. Fire Ice is just a good magic card. Bone Crusher is a little bit of removal. Uh, but I'm a big fan of mana. So we're going to take this Aired Mesa. And here... If we find some good creatures that like to be blinked... Charming Prince wouldn't be bad, but it does put us into three colors. So I don't think I don't think we want to hop into three colors now. Uh, I think we're just gonna take Jace. More card draw. Uh, and now we're gonna take Chain Lightning as just a little bit of removal. Um, so right now we're looking for Deceiver Exarch, we're looking for Pester Might, we're looking for Counter Magic, and we're looking for Lands. I think it goes combo pieces are first, counter magic, and then lands would probably be how I took it. The order in which we would take stuff is that. Uh, here we're just going to take a braid. Um, a braid is just a really powerful all around answer. Uh, it helps. It helps against the artifact decks, helps against the creature decks. And, uh, yeah, both those sound great. Cheap. Cheap interactions, good. So we will see where we go next. Here, um, huh. So, Clifftop Retreats lets that white splash become much easier in case we do end up splashing white, because we have Arid Mesa and Clifftop Retreat 
and Mana Confluence. And I'm leaning towards that being the thing. Um, we don't need Mizium Mortars. We already have two removal spells down there. Seder Fire Drinker. I mean, if we wanted to go the aggro route, we would take that. But I think we're just going to take Mana. If we want to splash a white card, it becomes much easier to splash. Like, if Charming Prince comes back around and we want to blink our Champion of Wits or something, you know, it's doable now. It's very much possible. It's a possibility. Gamble, chicken noodle, possibility. Um, here I think we're just taking careful consideration. You know, card draw is good. Card draw is more than good. And we will see what we get next. Uh, I think the next pack is a pack of Reanimate. No. Uh, we'll take Day of Judgment for the sideboard. Um, say, well, we might actually main deck Realm Cloak Giant. That might be a main deckable card because it's also a win condition. I think we'll put in the sideboard for now. Um, but if we end up splashing into white for, you know, whatever card, white card we end up getting, uh, Realm Cloak Giant is definitely a card I could see play in here. Um, we're going to we're gonna speculate and take Emery. There are some really powerful artifacts in this cube. Uh, we'll take the Maze's End. Probably won't play it. Take Rashad Import. Probably not play it. Take Parallax Wave. Definitely not play it. Anyways, uh, we'll take Emery. Oh, there are some powerful artifacts in this cube, and if we get to recur them, that'd be great. Relic. Here we are going to pick up. Hmm. So, Cyclonic Rift's a pretty good card. Fiery Confluence is just the shit. Like, Fiery Confluence is always a good card. Uh, Recruit of the Guard gets combo pieces. Unexpectedly Absent, pretty good removal spell. Yorian is a good top end card. So, if we want to go all in on the combo, and we think we're going to get more combo pieces, Recruit of the Guard is the card to take here. If we want to kind of stray away from the combo, be more of a control deck, it's definitely Fiery Confluence. So it kind of depends on what route we want to take here. Do we want to be control or all-in combo-y? And I think we're going to take... We're going to take Fiery Confluence, I think... We haven't found any other control pieces yet, or any of the, any of the other combo pieces yet. So yeah, fiery confluence it is. Um, here, here we're just gonna take miscalculate. It's good in the early game, helps stop people from doing their things, and if it's bad in the late game, we can just cycle it. And now. Huh. Now we just take Man of War, I think. Just a good, good tempo play. Um, take the opt. Do we take the opt? Um, we could also take Plateau, which really just makes the white splash so free. Currently, there's not really a white card I want to splash. So I think we are just going to stick to Opt. Uh, and now we'll take Preordain. Season Pyromancer is not a bad card, but big fan of these one mana cantrips. Preordain, Ponder, Brainstorm, Opt, Serum Visions. They're good cards. They're good cards and they do what I want them to do, you know? Which is draw more cards. Uh, here... Well, there's our combo piece. That plus Splinter Twin wins the game, so we will take that. It's not my favorite combo piece. Like, Cell's Conscripts is a good card on its own, while the other two aren't that great. But it doesn't move. It makes it so we can't win the game until turn 6. Uh, never mind. There's Deceiver Exarch. We are good. Everything is okay. Um, would really like to find counterspells, more counterspells, 
and uh, you know, steam vents, a volcanic island, something along those lines. Sulfur Falls. Shucks, I'd even take a Spire Buff now at this point. But uh, we've got a pretty good start going here. Campbell's Chicken Noodle Possibility. All right, here, um, huh, I think it's between Hazret and Lava Jet. And I think the answer here is Lava Jet, just another cheap spell that's interaction, plus it scries to, you know, not the worst thing in the world. Uh, and we got a pretty decent deck coming along here. Some good, good early removal, a little bit of interaction, some draw spells, a combo. Would like more counter spells. More counter spells is what we're looking for here. Uh, force of will, force of negation, uh, counter spell itself. Um. Okay, so now we have to ask the question of do we want to go into white for recruiter of the guard? We can just take Yorian, which currently we can blink Man of War, we can blink Zealous Conscripts, Deceiver Exarch. They all have ETB effects. Um, and it's also just a four or five. I don't hate that. I think, I think we're gonna leave Recruiter alone. Uh, Firebolt or Thundermaw. I think we're well. We're gonna take Firebolt. When left between the choice of a one drop and a five drop, you generally take the one drop. It's, uh, that's how I live life. Um. You know, with the white splash being as free as it is currently, we're going to take Lyra for the sideboard. She's definitely not a card we're going to start in the main deck, but if we get to the point where we want to cast her, she'd be pretty good. Here, uh, if we get there, Murmuring Mystic might not be the worst card in the world. I doubt we're going to get there. But, uh, she's there. Season Pyromancer came back. Uh, that's another really good card with our Yorian. So I am not sad about that. Um, a Johnny, sure. That's technically castable with our lands. Uh, counter spells and better mana. Those are currently the cards we're looking for. And a uh, mana leak. I know we have Flooded Strand there, but with nothing really good to fetch with it, uh, I think Mana Leak is more important. More cheap interaction to survive that early game is what we need in our lives. Now we want to open up a Volcanic Island or a Steam Vents. Pass me one of those two cards, please. I'm running out of water. I have very little left. Okay, so we got options. Flame Tongue Kabu is another really good card to blink with the Orion. But Cryptic Command is just insane. It's kind of rough not having. Never mind. I take back everything I was going to say. We have Volcanic Island. I'm not even going to look at the rest of the pack. I saw Rift Queen Cloudscape, which is a great card. Don't care. Volcanic Island. We we need the fixing, especially picking up a Cryptic Command. You know, you see we have double red, double blue, double blue, triple blue. Like, we have some pretty intense mana costs with this deck. So, Volcanic Island's insane. 
Now I kind of wish we had the flooded strand, but um, here, Imperial Recruiter. Perfect. Um, it lets us get, uh, it gives us Season Pyromancer, it gives us access, it gives us access to all of these three drops here. So if we have uh, our Deceiver Exarch and we're just looking for Splinter Twin, we can go get Champion of Wits to dig for Splinter Twin. Um, there is a Kiki Jiki. But honestly, do we want Kiki Jiki? Huh, Kiki Jiki can just be a good card to constantly bounce something with Man of War. And besides that, the only other card in the pack is Repeal, and I don't think we're playing Repeal. So we're just a good blue red value deck. Would like to open up a Steam Vents just to make the mana a little bit better. But, you know, it could be worse. We could have none of our dual lands. Opening that volcanic was huge. Um, here. Here, I don't think we're really going to be playing any of these cards. We don't need another two drops, three or another two drop spell like Searing Spear. Um, we could take Seachrome Coast in case that white splash ever becomes a thing, which I think is what we're going to do. Here, um, bu 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 bum, enter battlefield, discard a card, then draw a card. We could take Rick's Ro or Rick's Monty Reveler. We're never going to be able to spectacle him in, but just a two mana, two two that lets us draw a card isn't bad. Um, Delver has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven hits to flip Delver, so just about a fourth of the deck. Or we could take just a Burst Lightning. But honestly, you know, I don't hate Delver in this spot. Don't hate Delver one bit. Here. Is Yodaro crazy, chat? Is it crazy to put Yodaro in our deck? Because I don't think it is. That's why we're doing it. Um, we'll take Path to Exile. We can really kind of just transform into a pretty good white deck. Um, we're gonna take the we're gonna take Lava Coil over Flame Tongue. I know Flame Tongue is really good with Kiki and Yorian, but flipping our Delver would be great. Uh, Wrath for the sideboard. This card's castable. <laughs> uh, we'll throw that in the board. We gotta cut two cards from this deck. And as much as I hate it, I think one of them's Yadaro. As much as I want to make Yadaro work, that's definitely one of the cards we cut here. Um, random sideboard card. And hey, it came back. We're not going to play it. So we still need to make one cut. I think it's Magma Jet. Is it Magma Jet? Maybe it should be a creature. Cutting Magma Jet makes Delver worse. Uh, maybe it's... Maybe we don't need Niv-Mizzet. And its mana cost is just too insane. But I guess we do have insane mana cost just here and here. We have triple red on four, triple or triple blue on four, triple red on five. And we only have one blue red dual land. We have Arid Mesa to fetch it up. But outside of that, the mana's kinda rough. We also do have mana confluence, so we're playing you, we're playing you, we're playing you. And if we get to a spot where white is a color we want to, or if we want to bring in white cards, we have three really good white cards and two more white lands to bring in. So white splashes are basically free if we want to sideboard that way. If we're playing an aggressive deck, 
uh, that lets us bring in a bunch of removal spells and Lyra, which is good. Uh, as for what the one card we want to cut is, my heart or my mind is telling me Niv 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 Mizzet, but my body, my body is telling me keep Niv Mizzet in. He's going to do something for you. You're going to be able to cast him. He's not just going to rot in your hands. You look for that third blue source or red source. And we're just going to cut Magma Jet. All right. It's wrong. I know it's wrong. You guys don't need to tell me it's wrong. Gosh diggity darn it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Get that out of here. So that's one, two, three, nine red sources. So we can go ten. Ten and ten. Doesn't sound horrible. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our deck. This is what we're running. This is it. This this is either going to go poorly or quite well. We do only get Deceiver Exarch. And Zealous Conscripts. We didn't find the Pestermite, but I think that's okay. We lost a die roll, so we're clearly bad at magic. Shucks. Uh, but this hand's pretty insane. We get to go turn one Delver, hope it flips. Plus we have Opt to kind of help us dig, and a Lava Coil for removal. So, uh, when it comes to hands to keep... It's a pretty good one. I'm pretty happy with this hand. Mono black. So Delver might be dying. I believe in you, Delver. You can do it. Don't you fatal push him. Thank you. Don't you have some two mana removal spells? City of Brass. Alright, Delver. Give me a flip. Uh, we gotta put a stop on the upkeep. What's on top? Imperial Recruiter. No, we don't want to reveal that card. Also, we want to opt past it. Do we want to opt past it? Okay, so we got options. We can opt past this. Looking for... I don't even know what we're looking for. But this does give us a turn 5 win with Kiki if we draw lands. So actually, let's leave it right where it is. We need to start drawing lands desperately. Uh, sure, Delver, get in there. But if we can go three red sources in a row off the top... We have a turn five win. All right, Delver, come on. Mountain, nope. All right, you know that is. We're okay. I'm okay with drawing a mountain. <laughs> that gets us one step closer, to Kiki Jiki. Now we go get our Deceiver Exarch. Put that right into our hands. And our opponent looks to be on some sort of Jun type list. Don't really know what they're doing. They haven't cast any spells yet. Let's see what we do. Let's see how we go. Hope everyone had a great Father's Day. Whoever's a, whoever's a father out there, congrats. You are a saint. You do more than I could ever do. Couldn't deal with kids. Uh, and if you're not a dad... I hope you said I love you to your dad. Went and gave him a big hug. Opponents missing land drops. Good. What do we got? Careful consideration. Do we want to review that? Yes. Alright. We have a flip Delver. We have a plan. And uh, we also have a combo potentially lined up. We're going to flash Deceiver Exarch again. If we miss, then we will cast Careful Consideration. 
Our mana definitely coming back to bite us here as we have Cryptic Command that we can't cast, and a Kiki Jiki that we can't cast. <sighs> Looks like our opponent's trying to cast something. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Nope, not casting nothing. Okay. It's not a thing to be cast. My mind's telling me no. What are you casting, opponent? What you got? Toxic Deluge, huh? Okay. Sure. We'll just flash this in now. Um, untap this, I guess. All right, red source off the top deck. Come on, I believe in you. Red source off the top. Magic is, magic's fun. <laughs> magic is so hard. Ki ki chi ki. All right, opponent, scoop it up. We win. Thank you. Come again. All right. I have no idea what our opponent's doing. <laughs> Some sort of Jun deck. So we're just going to click Submit. <laughs> Run it back. Also, Mana Confluence needs to be here in Volcanic. Now, look at how appealing that looks. Those all islands into half blue, half red, all mountains into red, plus something into... Yeah. Great. Um, again, turn one Delver. No two drop to follow it up, but man, it's pretty good. Hey, look, our opponent's casting spells this game. If we draw a removal spell, we're not going to cast Delver. Nope. Oh, hey, look, Ops. We're now just going to hang out here. We're going to put stops on our upkeep. That way, if Delver doesn't flip, interesting. This way, if we flip a card with Delver we don't like, we can opt it away. Firebolt. I would love to reveal Firebolt. And we would love to draw Firebolt. Pew that guy right down real quick. And then attack. Man, Delver's really good when it flips on turn two blind. <laughs> Less good any other time, but you know. Uh, haven't really figured out what our opponent's trying to do. There's some sort of Jun type deck. Who knows? But uh, things are going pretty good currently. We're going to opt. Take a quick look at our chain lightning that we would love to cast. We will attack for three again in the air. And then we will, our opponent can't chain lightning us back, so we'll kill their card. And, uh, pass the turn. It's not a, it's not very mana efficient to use our chain lightning there. We sh if we wanted to be mana efficient, we should have champion of wits. But, ooh, what you cast an opponent? Ah. Man, we gave them the fuel they needed to cast that. Fair enough. Well, here we're just—I think we're just gonna untap, cast champ, opponent's missing lands. Um, so we can Imperial Recruiter, grab our Kiki Jiki, and then if we draw a red mana, yeah, 
We're gonna Imperial Recruiter, grab our Kiki. Grab Kiki Jiki. Pass the old turn. Now if we draw a land next turn, we get to Zealous Conscript something. Hey look, our opponent drew a land. Shocking it in. Play a great creature for me to Zealous Conscripts, mate. Obstinate Bayloth, yeah, that counts as one. Gain some four life. Alright, draw a mana source. Any mana source really is great. I'm happy with any of them here. Shucks. Alright, so then we will Champion of Wits. Draw to discard two. Yes. Um, we will discard these two, play our mana, and uh, hold up mana leak here. And then next turn we can Zealous Conscripts, take whatever they're casting, or take their obstinate at Bailoff, probably. Nah, opponent, put that away. Only I get to have fun here. Smart not to attack there. But uh, now I'm going to attack you for a lot. Give me that there, Obstinate Bailoff, please, opponent. Thank you. Now we right click attack with all but the Imperial Recruiter, who we're going to leave back on defense. Just a casual nine point life swing. No problem. Alright, and if our opponent doesn't have a removal spell, they are dead, and they know they're dead. Cool, opponent's dead. You know I have Kiki Jiki opponent. Attacking with both. Um, well, our life total doesn't matter because we win the game, but we'll chump block anyways, just in case, you know? They might have, like, okay. <laughs> it's like they might have a slaughter pact or something, so. Um, well, no, they can't have that. They'll die when they untap a slaughter pact. I don't know what. The, I don't know what I was playing around, but I was playing around it. Red land at lightning bolt. We were we were prepared in case Kiki Jiki didn't live to combo. But it did, we did, we won. It was a good time. Good time. And uh case Kiki Jiki didn't live to combo. Here we are. Chilling like a villain on the fourth of July. Man, it's been a pretty slow night for the stream, but that's okay. That match was very fun. I thoroughly enjoyed what we did there. My mind's telling me no. Alright, do we win the die roll? Man, two losses in a row. Hurts my heart. Uh, this hand needs to draw land, but I think we keep it. A white deck. Hey, look, lands. We'll play an island. Next turn we get to season pirate. Not next turn. Next turn we get to hold a mount. Please draw a removal spell? Difference between being on the play and being on the draw. If we'd been on the play, we would have countered that immediately. Okay, so their thing is already in hand. Got it. Removal spell. Or not. Um, We're not in a good spot. 
We are very much in a bad spot. We do have an abrade. And we do have fiery confluence. So we have top decks we can get to not be dead here. Thraben Inspector? Sure. I think we're just going to cycle Miscalc. Yep. And step cycle. How about another land? We asked for lands. We did ask for lands, so... I think we're going to Champion of Wits, because we can discard lands with Champion of Wits without penalty. Yes. Wow. In the top 13 cards of our library. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 lands, huh? Well, um, what's your big scary artifact? That's big and scary. Yeah. Yep. Really like to find that a braid, please, deck. We're going to try and preserve our life total. Also, we're not very sad if that goes in the graveyard. Yep. Now, removal spells don't cut it. Well, we can't removal spell that, so I guess that's something. Fiery Confluence? Recruiter of the Guard. Okay, new plan. We are going to recruit the guard, get to see for Exarch combo. Get make it nice and big. Grab to see for Exarch, play our land. So we're going to tend this turn. And then down to five, so Potentially we can survive long enough to combo on six. It's going to be close. Uh, we're going to chump block the heck out of this figure, Destiny. Doesn't get trampled, does it? No. Okay. I can make it a uh, four four. Uh. If they pump Figure of Destiny, we're dead before we get to con- Oh, no, because the Seabrex card can tap it down. So we go to 10 here. Next turn, we go to 5. So if they have nothing, we can win without dying. They probably have something, but, you know, a man can dream. Maybe we'll find a removal spell or something to help keep us alive. Man, Sophie being the one equipment card he had in deck was pretty punishing. Looks like he's going to go in on figure. That's the best jar in our entire deck, because that lets his combo plus get rid of their Sophie. Yep, so now they pump into fig. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Big and scary. So we can tap one of their four fours, block Stoneforge, take four, and win if they have nothing. Lots of big ifs here. They get their own recruiter. Sure, what do you get? You get a two drop that you want to cast, opponent. Top 
Tide Taker. During your turn, spells. Okay, so now we're going to respond to that. We're going to cast this. Tap down Archangel Avacyn. Tap this. And then we're going to destroy this artifact. Cool? Cool. We win the game? I think we win the game now. Because they are tapped out and we have Kiki Jiki in hand. Uh, yeah, don't mind me, just, uh... This is my Kiki Jiki. There are many like it. Alright, so we're playing against Mono White. Do we want our White Splash against Mono White? What would we be bringing in? We'd be bringing in Path to Exile. We'd be bringing in both of our Wraths, probably. And then Lyra? Plus two lands. What would we be bringing out? We could bring this out. Um... Niv Mizzet can come out. We need to bring four cards out. Uh, probably cut the cryptic. And one of these. Cut the firebolt. I don't hate this plan. Now we bring these in. We bring these in. Um, we cut cryptic, so actually we cut. And we'll cut a mountain for a plains. Boom, boom. Okay, so that gives us one, two, or one, two, three, four, five white cards, or white mana. For these, um, yeah, it's probably fine. Let's run like that. All right, uh, easy mulligan. What are lands? <laughs> what are lands? Opponent also mulligan to six. Um, we'll keep this. We'll put this in this back, I guess. Not happy with this in the slightest. Give her a room, show her. Mana Confluence is a great card to draw here. Givers a rough turn one though. Now we can't remove whatever their turn two is. Okay. Now we're just gonna kill their giver. Open up our way to other removal spells. Sure. We take one. We untap. We don't even have to take damage for it. Hot dog. We're just getting rid of you now. And then we get to Jace, take him down, draw a card. Jace basically turns into Divination. But Jace being Divination isn't bad. It'll help draw us out of this mulligan we have. Target player, me. I am the target. And uh, we're on track for a turn 5 Lyra. Are they going to attack Jace here? Yeah. And like I said, Divination isn't a bad card to be playing right now. I don't hate it. <laughs> Parallax Wave. Let's tick this down. Target myself. Play our land. Ooh, exile target creature. They can't not. Oh. 
Um, sure. Currently, Parallax Wave does literal nothing. But I guess it is a removal spell. For a bit. What is your 5 drop? Spectral Procession. Sure. Uh, we did put our wrath to the bottom. So we can Lyra, and then they just take Lyra away for three turns. But if we do nothing, then nothing happens. So I guess we Lyra and let them take our Lyra away for three turns. Not taking our Lyra away. Interesting choice. Quite confused by it. We definitely need to top deck some good cards here because currently we have drawn. Lyra is the only spell we've drawn. Man. Okay. Um, well, now we get to do the whole legacy trick of Delver plus. Uh, Delver plus Tapland. Or a uh, fetch land, I mean. So, positives. Also, they totally should have attacked their legion's end. Journey to nowhere. That's that's pretty unfortunate. Not gonna lie, that was not a card I was expecting to see here. Sorcery speed answers are not good against the combo, but uh, here we are. Oof. Mountain. No, we don't want to reveal that, but we do want to fetch that away. Please give me something good. That might be able to do something later. Draw two, discard two, discard this, and one, two, three, we'll discard the mountain. Uh, we're going to tap down that hero blade hold so it doesn't attack next turn. The white splash is definitely worth it this game, I think. Or for this matchup, I mean. And uh, we have a, one, a 2 in 23 chance of just drawing the combo and ending the game next turn, so... You know, it's there. We could do it. <laughs> We've shuffled our deck. So, um, we can also just draw a Wrath, which would be pretty good here. Well, then our Danto is going to be real annoying. Real annoying. It's not going to be good times. Uh, opponent, I don't think you know, it, or is that not how it works? Ah, that is not how it works. Don't mana tide me, bro. Um, tap target permanent, that one. No battle cry. This, you know, gives me a chance. Come on, deck. 
Come on, deck. In the grand scheme of things, could have been a lot worse. Ooh, yeah, we're dead. Ah! Um, let's bring our removal back in. I don't know why we cut removal. Let's cut the counter spells, actually. Let's just have a bunch of removal. Do we want our? This is another, another wrath. What's it better then? Nah, we don't. I think we're good. Would we have been able to survive that turn? So we were taken. No, just in the air we were dead with the, the battle cry. So. This is the first time we've been on the play. And I like this hand. This hand is good. This hand lets me cast Preordain. Uh, put both those to the bottom. Draw another land. God damn it, deck. Please stop drawing lands. Sure. We'll just kill that. Okay. Thank you, deck. Just get rid of Champion or Mother of Ruins, pass the turn. Yep. Path to Exile is a great draw here. We are going to cast our Champion of Wits. Ah, fucking hell, that moth scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Um, man, what do we discard here? We keep mana confluence. Maybe we discard flashback in an island. Okay, because we can just uh, we can't just flashback that firebolt to kill something later. Block. We were ready to block, damn it. Ramaz. Yep, passing that right away. Let's do this. Actually, I don't think I want to cast these in Pyromancer. Let's just, uh, let's just pass and plan on passing that there, Brimaz. Uh, yep, keep. Goodbye, sir. I really don't like that card. That card's terrifying. I have a tap lane instead. Uh, now we're going to untap, cast Kiki Jiki, and just start copying a champion of wits. <laughs> Dig through our deck that way. What does that do? Dies, create X tokens where X is the number of creatures in your graveyard. Sure. Heck off, you frickin' moth. Here's a Kiki Jiki. And he is just here. Just here to draw us more cards, chat. Could remove them, I guess, which would be kind of unfortunate, but we do still have Splinter Twin in our deck, so I'm not, like, super worried about it. I really hope me humming songs doesn't get Twitch over here. That would be unfortunate. How am I supposed to sing Queen and shout out how I need somebody to find me, somebody to love? 
on my way over to my parents' car, I bl or my parents' house, I blared that in the car. That's, I think, my favorite Queen song. Ah, uh, shucks, opponent. Why you gotta do this? Yes, I would like to use this ability. I'd like to discard these two lands, please. Opponent, you're no fun. Um, let's do this and get rid of both of these cards to make some 1-1s. One -ones. Yorian. That's a... That's a card. We are about to cast the crap out of that Yorian and just, uh... Just have a lot of fun. Draw lots of cards. We sideboarded out Cryptic, so I don't think there's any way to get our Kiki Jiki back. But we still have Deceiver X Arc and Splinter Twin in the deck. So not super worried about it. And we are about to dig four cards deep looking for it, so. You know, pretty good. Pretty good. Can anybody find me? Sorry, I'm a horrible singer and I accept it. Oh, that's scary. Oh, maybe we should just wrap the board, huh? Both of these guys do something from the graveyard. There's Splinter Twin. So we got options. We can either Yorian, Blink, everything, and just keep on hanging out. I don't think I even want to Blink Young Pyro or Season Pyromancer right now because he makes us discard Splinter Twin. Hmm. So we can Yorian, which can block the Scout or the Cloud Goat Ranger for days. Or we can Cloud Goat wrap the board. Our opponent has three cards in hand. And then we still have three cards in our yard that do something. I think that's the play. We cast off. Oh wait, Cloud Goat's a fucking spirit, or is it? It's a giant. Fuck. Fuck. We just lost the game. That's the game right there, boys and girls. This random ass card is a giant. Yeah. Jeez. Alright, that card's a giant. The more you know. Um, this hand is really good. Well, it's not really good, but this hand is good in the creature matchup, bad in the control matchup. What do we think we're playing? Probably creature. Legacy cube is more focused around creatures than any other cube is. Or than the vintage cube is, at least. Also, we have lost 
all or we we have not won a die roll today. Play a creature. Oh, that's not a creature opponent. Well, if we draw two lands, then we have a combo. We still need the contact info. Alright. Need to draw a look. There's one land. Alright, let's hope they don't have anything of meaning. Although I feel they're leaving up counter magic here. Or they're missing land drops? Oh, they're missing land drops. They have a counter spell in hand. That is why they kept their hand. We're going to do this and tap down their underground Z. Tap that. Hope you didn't have a 3 drop to cast opponent. Oh, yeah, I guess I can just do that. Alright, deck. One untapped land. Every land in the deck is untapped. Ooh, they're Grixis. Okay. Mold Drifter? Emery. Okay. Untapped land. Okay. Untapped land deck. Untapped land. Untapped land. Untapped land. Fucking hell. Bottom both of those. There it is. Now I'm going to kill that. Uh, might as well attack for one. I guess. And then we get to have a braid up for anything scary they might play. Buried alive. All right, so they're dead. Cool. They feel pretty dead. We stumbled, but we got there. Sweet. Okay, so they're playing a reanimator deck. So our counter spells are going to be really good. Our man of war is really good. And honestly, I kind of want to bring Path to Exile in. I think we bring this in, we bring this in. We go down a mountain, we go down an island. We bring the path to exile in over fire bolts. And we have one, two. Hmm. Um, let's put a single planes in the deck as well. So we can fetch it. So we have one, two, three, four, five. For one singular card. But I think it'll be a card we need in this matchup to uh, answer our opponent over there. This hand is more than good. It's great. Let's see what our opponent decides to do here. Um, opponent keeps. We will also keep. Let's play a tap cliff top retreat because, well, unless we draw a mountain. No, we'll play a mountain. Nope. Yep. We'll tap cliff top retreat. Pass the turn. Okay. 
Lands are good. I'm a big fan of drawing more lands. Also, let's organize our hand here. Hands all sorts out of whack. There we go. I'd like to draw blue lands so we can cast this cryptic, but, you know. Beggars can't be choosers. Uh, yeah, we'll counter that. We can't let them untap with six mana next turn. They're, that's almost Gristle Man right there. Mana Leak, not the worst card in the world to draw here. Just to keep... And we keep making our land drops, so, you know, we're in an okay spot right now. If we miss the next land, we're going to be in a not a great spot, but... Again, stop it, opponent. Seek help. Stop trying to ramp into your big scary monsters. Land? Thank you. Alright. It's not exactly the lands we want to draw, because, well, we can't cast Cryptic Command, but... I'll take it. Another land. Cool. Um, fun fact. <laughs> if our opponent cheats in Gristleband and then goes down far on life drawing cards, we could sell his conscripts, take their Gristlebrand, kill them. And that would be quite quite the card. Well, now we just leave up Cryptic. Mind Slaver. Um, counter, target, spell, return, permit to a donor's hand. That spell, that permanent. Let's just reset your board opponent. Put him back. Put him back. Now we're just going to get this down. Doesn't do much. Um, man. We'll untap an island. We'll hold up more counter magic. We'll, we'll pretend to have more counter magic. Our island has haste, boys and girls. So if our opponent taps out, we win the game. Opponent, go ahead and tap out. Sure. I mean, we didn't come here to not go for it. <laughs> Got a removal spell? Shucks. He does. Oh, shucks. I like Man of War. We'll keep Man of War right where it's at. I mean, we still have Kiki Jiki, we still have Deceiver Exarch, so we're not out of the game just yet. Sure. So let's do cast to do 4 damage plus destroy an artifact that one. And then we'll just chain lightning that. Taking two. Sure. Pass turn. I feel like our opponent definitely has like a gristle brand in hand right now. And uh... They, wa they just wanted to hard cast it. That was what their goal was. Now we Imperial Recruiter. We get Sakiki Jiki. 
fast turn. And I mean, if we draw a land, we win the game next turn if they have no interaction. Because we can 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. If we draw a land, we can Kiki Jiki, copy and pre recruiter. Go get. Oh, we probably should actually should turn off a lot of yields. They found their blue mana. Yeah, seven mana, opponent. What are you planning on doing with it? Just tapping one of it? What are you doing, opponent? Yeah. I mean, we didn't go here to not go for it. <laughs> Do you have something, opponent? Alright! The opponent didn't have anything. Sweet! Uh, that was pretty fun. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed that. Good play patterns, good stuff like that. Uh, YouTube, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and leave a like down below. Comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.